In this lesson, I'll show you how to derive the exponential growth to an upper limit formula using differential equations. The question reads, a quantity starts from zero and grows with time such that its rate of growth is proportional to the difference between the final amount a and the present amount y. Find the equation for y as a function of time. The amount present at time t is y, and the rate of growth of y we write as dy over dt. Since the rate of growth is proportional to the amount you start with a minus y, we write the differential equation as such, where we have dy over dt is equal to n, and I'll discuss what that is in a moment, a, your original amount, minus y. n is the constant of proportionality here, and you have to include a constant whenever you create an equation from scratch. Next, what we'll do is separate the variables, and we will obtain the following. I'll multiply both sides by dt. This eliminates the dt at the bottom. And we're left with dy is equal to n bracket a minus y times dt. And I want to bring the y terms to the dy side. So I'll divide both sides now by a minus y. And we end up with dy over a minus y is equal to n dt. If we integrate both sides, this side with respect to y and this side with respect to t, I end up with nt on the right side plus our constant c. And on the left side, we have to do a substitution where I set u is equal to a minus y. Taking the derivative with respect to y, we end up with du is equal to negative dy. Dividing both sides by negative, we have negative du is equal to dy, and I'll place this where I have the dy. So I have the integral of du over, and I'll place the negative out here, u. Taking the integral of 1 over u is easy. It's actually ln absolute of u. And remember, u was set to a minus y. So we have negative ln a minus y, and I'll place that right here, negative ln a minus y. Going to exponential form and simplifying yields the following. I'll raise both sides to bases of e. So I'll raise this as a power to base e. And the right side becomes the following. Notice that we have negative ln. Another way to write this is to put this negative as a power of a minus y. And that takes that away. And we have e to the power of ln, which cancels out. So we're left with a minus y to the power of negative 1. And on the right side, we have e to the power of nt, e to the power of c. This becomes 1 over a minus y, e to the power of nt, e to the power of c. Multiplying both sides by a minus y gives me 1 on the left side. And dividing both sides at the same time by e to the power of nt, e to the power of c gives me e to the power of nt at the bottom, e to the power of c, and on the right side, a minus y. I can flip this into e to the power of negative nt, e to the power of negative c, a minus y. And the left side simplifies to c1, which I don't want to write down e to the power of negative c. This is our constant. So this is another version of our constant, which I'll call c subscript 1. And this part remains the way it is, as e to the power of negative nt is equal to a minus y. Applying the initial condition where y was equal to 0 when t was equal to 0 gives me the following. y is equal to 0, t is equal to 0. This part goes away. This part becomes 0. e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, c subscript 1 is equal to a. Therefore, our equation becomes a minus y is equal to a e to the power of negative nt, which of course can be rewritten if we bring this y over and this over as a minus a e to the power of negative nt is equal to positive y. And this is where we get our upper limit formula of y is equal to factoring out an a bracket 1 minus e to the power of negative nt. And there you have it. That is how to derive the exponential growth formula to an upper limit.